As usual, I got in the store and baby was not cooperating. Cause it's in between nap time and lunch time and I forgot everything. So this is just a small haul for just a week, but I am at Sam's Club, so I'm gonna show you what I got. Everything is just packed up under here, but I will show you guys once I get everything home. Welcome back to my channel. When I showed you the first portion of the video, I was checking out at Sam's Club. This is what happened. I was supposed to go to Sam's this weekend because I did get my, let me show you, let me show you. Let she go, she's back, she's back. I got her back on Friday afternoon and so I just, it didn't work out the way that I planned it. And then we had, um, a party to go to yesterday and we were there all day. I came home, relaxed for a little bit and I started dinner and we ate and went to bed. And so I didn't get any shopping done yesterday at all. And so today, um, which is Sunday afternoon, I went on and did a grocery haul. This is for one week. Um, I spent my total, I, I've ha I have to get a couple more things that I feel like I need. Um, but I don't have to have, but I just feel like I need them. I know that probably sounds bad because need is something that you need and want is something that you just want. So things that I want, but also would benefit um, for weeks to come. So I can pick those things up because I could not get them at Sam's Club. No, no baby. No, no. Okay, so um, just kind of threw this stuff up here before we are headed back out to go and get the remaining of the items. At Sam's Club, I spent, my total was $248 for all of this stuff. Um, so it was under, it was under $300. See, I'm, I'm sticking to my budget, $300 a week. Hold on, baby, he wants to eat some stuff. Uh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Hold on, come here. Uh -huh. We are getting a drug. You I saw a slug? Oh, yes. they saw a slug. Ew. Um, no, 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 no. Hold on. So, I'm going to get to this grocery haul because this baby wants, he wants these snacks. And, uh -huh. Yeah, he wants it fast. Okay, so let's get started. So, I'm going to start from this end. I got this two pack of bread which i love to do this because we make toast um we make sandwiches and so this will be for a week um and for by the way if you're wondering like how can somebody eat two loaves of bread in a week because if you have not watched any of my videos and you just came across this video for the first time or you've watched you know previous grocery hauls or you watched a previous cooking video or whatever it may be um, we are a family of 10. Me and my husband um, are the adults and we have two, we have eight children. Five boys, three girls. Yes. So that is why we go through two loaves of bread. Okay. So I bought some of these um, tomatoes on a vine. I love these. I got the smaller ones this time because I'm going to actually make a couple of different dishes with this along with some salads. Um, I got a bag of cucumbers. We use these for salads and we also use them um, for snacks. I got this large bag of plums, which I love the fact that it's a three pound bag because um, everyone can get one and we may have a couple left over. I also got a huge bag. This is a three pound bag also, I think, um, for the nectarines. It may be a little bigger. Four pound bag, yeah, so, oh, yes. Four pound bag of nectarines. I, this is a good breakfast. It has four um, cans in there. So I usually make two, I can make two um, breakfasts out of this, if that's even a word, breakfasts. Two meals, breakfast meals. Let me put it like that. Two breakfast meals out of this pack of four. I got some croissants. We can have these with dinner and also some of the kids like having these with um, meat and cheese, and then I, me and my husband love having croissants with chicken salad. 
we like going to chicken salad chicks and getting our chicken salad on croissant rolls but like i said i'm trying to stay out of the drive throughs and save some money so it's better for me to boil some chicken make chicken salad and put some on that okay so i got a pack of unsalted butter this will last me a month so it was 10 bucks but it's well worth it because with cakes and not i make homemade bread all the time but i never have to have butter for that so besides just spreading it on there and we use like one stick um per loaf so that will last me a month then i got this big humongous bag of potatoes i'm gonna do we eat a lot of potatoes like baked potatoes it's easy to pull out a potato and this is a 15 pound bag i can get a couple of meals out of this and i actually am going to do um a couple of different things with these potatoes this time so just be looking out for my loaded baked potato um, video that i make um i bought we got this big case of ginger ale. we also have a case so this will last us for a minute i deal with acid reflux i know it's so much information but i deal with acid reflux and this settles my stomach um i have this um, container of strawberries. I have two containers of blackberries. I have a container of the honey crisp apples. They are good to for lunches. And what I like about them, they are sliced. I don't have to slice them up. It's two pounds and they don't turn brown. So I'm pretty sure they've got so many chemicals on them, but they're really good. I don't have to worry about them turning brown when I slice them so I can fix lunches or put them in a container. Or the kids, they, some of the kids just like to eat them for snack. Well, pretty much all my kids, um, except for the baby, can just grab and go. I just wanna be careful with him eating um, hard objects like that unattended. I got two cantaloupe, they are delicious. We love cantaloupe. I've got three bags of the broccoli salad mix. I love this broccoli salad. Well, our family loves this broccoli salad mix. I can make it homemade, but why if these kits make it convenient? It's all about convenience. Yes. I got a big um, container of feta cheese. I'm going to do a couple of different dishes with this. This will last me a month. Um, I also got my big container of sour cream. That will last me a month with making um, ranch dressing and making cakes and also um, having on potatoes. So that works out perfect. Um, got this big um, bag of um, Parmesan cheese. Make some dishes with that. Now this really was not a great deal, but I don't have to worry about picking some up later, trying to remember it. Um, I just got a, one container of heavy cream. Um, I got a gallon of milk, two of these strawberry lemonades. I got this big family size bag that comes with um, five bags of the fresh green beans. Love them, so good. Sauteed, roasted, even um, put in the Instapot. They're good. I got my pans because I've been out for a minute. I've been actually going to my last couple of grocery hauls. I did one where I went a month ago to Costco and I'm not, I didn't even think to check if they had pans because I've always purchased them at Sam's. So um, it just worked out better. But with cooking, it's so convenient because you can just throw these pans away after you cook. So that's why I like doing that. Got a pack of ground chicken, two packs of chicken tenderloins. They did not have breast. I was disappointed. They only had tenderloins. They did not have wings. They said they were already sold out. So that was disappointing. But I did buy um, last week in that grocery haul. I did purchase some wings. So I wasn't I'm not too, too sad. It's fine. Um, and it's just for one week anyway, so we eat day by day, yes. Anyway, so I got a three pack of this little stew meat. Um, it's like a thin, it's a chuck roast, it's three chuck roasts, but I will have to make all three for one meal. And it was pretty cheap for three, 17 bucks. So for a smaller family, it's convenient um, because you can actually make three meals out of that, so that's definitely a win-win i got of course my coffee creamer this is my favorite so i was happy that i could find this big um jug for five bucks basically when i pay 
four dollars and something at the grocery store for the smaller container i got one of our favorite barbecue sauces sunny sweet barbecue sauce only sam's club that i know of sells them i got a bag of course of lettuce um got some more breakfast food which are some muffins got my Kerrygold's butter i was surprised that i was able to get this and it was eight bucks so to me it was a deal because you pay four dollars for almost five dollars for one little small container and i think it's i don't know how many is in here i think three is in here or it may just be two let me see yeah three three is in here so that was definitely um and it's two sticks per um so that's three cups of that's three cups of butter so that's a deal to me and they also had the unsalted, but I actually like the salted because I, um, it's hard to find the garlic and herb. I never can find the garlic and herb um, at stores. They're always out, so I just make my own. All I have to do is just add herbs and garlic. And I got garlic and herb, and it's salted butter, so it just tastes so delicious. Um, I got this bag of broccoli, um, Normandy, I got this, oh, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it for Sam's Club. And like I said, we're gonna put this stuff up. We're gonna head out to Walmart, get a couple things, or we may not go to Walmart. We may go to, I don't know, Lidl or Aldi, one of them. And I'm gonna try to find, I'm going on a hunt for some more meats because I've got, two roasts in the refrigerator from a grocery haul last week and that's it for the chicken and i've got some hamburgers that i bought and we'll have those burgers tonight but that's it for my meats and in my deep freezer i do have two packs of two family packs from sam's club that we bought um months ago um some legs and so that's the all, only the only meat that I have. And so I like to not have to keep running back and forth to the store because I tend to always overspend because I end up picking up more than what I should have or more than I went in the store for. So that's why I just want to make sure that if if my cup runneth over, if that makes sense, with extra stuff, that stuff I don't have to keep buying because that's my whole point to where I can keep stocking up week after week and then I go two weeks or a week and don't have to get anything but maybe fresh vegetables or fruits. That's my goal so I can save and see exactly how much I'm spending. Now, of course, for this stuff, it was more expensive versus last week when I went, but I got bigger items. Um, so, of course, the bigger the item is, the more it's gonna cost. And so, like I said, this total today was $2.48, and I am going over budget a little bit, but it's going to be worth it because I'll have extra. So, my goal is anyway, every two weeks, $600, and I try to do every week. Um, no, 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 touch the meat. Um, let me get off here so I can clean my baby's hands. But um, my goal is to stay every two weeks, $600. Donna, can you wash your hands? Thank you. So I will see you guys back shortly to show you what the remaining items I have. Bye. You guys, I had to come back and say this really quick. I was getting ready to, me and Aubrey, say hi, Aubrey. Me and Aubrey were getting ready to put up groceries. I said, Cameron, you saying hi? And I just so happened to look in the refrigerator and I'm like, I haven't been to Walmart. My husband had picked up some tenderloin breasts, so I guess it's just, that's all they have out right now. And then he picked up me a big 60 container of eggs. So I'm like, yay, so that's, I'm good, I'm good. Okay guys, so we are back from the store. Um, let me see what time it is right now. When I went to Sam's Club this morning, it's six o'clock basically, okay. So, because I wanted you to know the time. So, we ran out, we grabbed lunch, and we went to um, Harris Teether, and that's it. I didn't go anywhere else. I'm sorry. Okay. So, I went to Harris Teether and got the remaining of my grocery haul for two weeks. 
do originally do one week, but I was like, you know what? My goal is to do a two week grocery haul. So this week I will not have to go back to the store, um, hopefully for anything besides maybe some fruits um, and maybe some fresh vegetables to take me over through next week. But this is just what I bought. Um, I bought, this is to go with some kids lunches. Um, they want nachos, so I'm gonna make some dip. Um, one day they had buy two get three get three free with the um, Uts bags of chips. I bought, of course, some cereal, some graham crackers because this is a snack. Um, bought some croutons to go with the salad. Bought some snack, more snack items, um, some cookies, and. Of course, got a pack of, they put up the big gallon of chocolate milk already because that needed to go ahead and be refrigerated. I got one thing of vanilla Greek yogurt, got some Oreos double stuffed, and I got some um, Cheez-Its. I got some Lay's potato chips. We got some sodas, caffeine free, Sprite, Dr. Pepper and Coke. I also got my husband had bought um, a couple of things and I put it on this table this morning from Walmart that I didn't know that he had purchased until I was putting up the groceries. So I wanted to make sure that I showed you those things as well. Um, a thing of apple juice, a thing of grape juice. I got my chicken like I have been looking for. These are the split breast. I got three packs of split breast. I got three packs of steaks. Um, New York strip, got a ham four packs of ground beef, so of course the chips, some more Lay's. I stopped by a, um, we actually went outside the city um, to another city that, that's where we had lunch and stuff at, so I just went to that store as well because I'm familiar with that area. We actually used to live there, so I'm familiar with everything and they have um, a little farmer's market, outdoor farmer's market that's open seven days a week. So I stopped by there. I'm gonna make some candied yams. Um, one day this week, so I went on and grabbed some um, sweet potatoes. I am gonna make some zucchini fries with homemade ranch. That's a great side. I told you before in one um, one of my videos, no, I actually have not. I don't care for zucchini as much because a couple of years ago, we were blessed from a family member with a lot of fresh vegetables and zucchini was one of the ones that they had so much of and they gave us so much and i was making so many dishes out of zucchini so i just got burnt out and just the taste of it sauteed or anything just kind of makes me just sick on the stomach to think about it but i do love summer squash got some summer squash because i can make saute this and make i make a squash casserole my mom's recipe um and it's amazing um my husband got me because he knows my struggle with keeping eggs last week when I did Aldi and Lidl and then one was cracked um I guess one was cracked last week I did the 18 they had them at Aldi I think or Lidl I can't remember which store um for 88 cent for 18 packs so I got three of those well I'm down to one and like three eggs in one carton. That's just how many we eat. Um, I did some baking this week, and then of course I make a whole lot of eggs. Kids always request fried eggs, and then I have one child that does not eat fried eggs. She has to have her eggs either scrambled or an omelet. Um, so I make a lot of eggs. So he got me the 60 um, box of eggs, so that is great. I'm going to make, of course, some pasta dishes, and then I'm gonna make some homemade macaroni and cheese this week, so I've got my noodles. Um, two cans of evaporated milk, because I use those in bread and cornbread cakes, and also in my mac and cheese. I had tons of cheese already from the grocery haul last weekend, and I did not use um, that, so I was so glad, but now he bought this big bag um, so that's gonna work perfect with the mac and cheese and different dishes. Bought some more ground ginger, some more parsley. This is the chips that I will use for the kids' cheese dip. Um, he also bought an apple juice and then I bought, and he bought a pack of a little 
little small baby pack of tenderloins. And I'm like, what can we do with that? And he said he was gonna make breakfast bowls this morning. And so um, I was like, oh, okay. Now I get it, so I can do something with that. Um, I can chop that chicken up and actually put it in the loaded baked potatoes. And I bought a big container of vegetable oil. So yes, so that is everything that I bought. So that is it for two weeks. And like I said, I my goal is I spent at Harris Tea the 171. So I have a grand total for a two week, still stayed under budget. I did spend um, some money on Friday getting personal stuff and I did not record that. Um, at all because it was just pretty much the basics that, pretty much the basics that we needed you know hair products lotions detergents stuff like that I didn't show that stuff um, and so um, I stayed on budget I stayed under six hundred dollars and that is my goal and like I told my husband I was laughing I told him I said um, Joshua okay I'm just making sure Cause I heard a little noise, but I didn't think any of the kids are in the house with me. But um, so, so like I told him, I said my goal is to stay out of the store every single day, taking all the kids um, back and forth to the store, spending more money, um, because the month, the month that our family had COVID, and if you have not watched my COVID story, please go over and watch it and give me a thumbs up. Um, but that was the month of June. And through that, I did gross, I did purchase groceries. Um, it was pretty much mainly um, popsicles, ice cream, um, a couple of different snacks for the kids, fruit, um, and a whole lot of waters, a whole lot of juice. But mainly we got a lot of takeout because when we were so sick, we had to, um, have food like that to eat because I did not have the strength to cook and so and I'm the cook in the house my husband will grill and he will cook some things but I'm the cook in the house so when I'm down the kitchen is down um and and that's another thing too that I wanted to make sure that I started doing was incorporating some freezer meals freezer breakfast foods freezer um, dinner foods and that'll be coming towards the fall so look for those videos because I have some soup recipes some casserole recipes that you can try and freeze and meat marinades that you can try and freeze for hard times or just convenient times um, because it was unexpected it just hit us all at once and I was not prepared so um, and that's what made me because when we sat down and actually figured everything out for the whole month of fast food and a few things the grocery store was about six hundred dollars for the whole month but for fast food twenty five hundred dollars yes because and I know that's probably like oh my goodness that's impossible no because it is a family of ten my older four get adult meals so there is six adult meals that are being purchased and you know fast food and now if we we would get takeout at Longhorn or um, Olive Garden and we had some family and friends to buy us um, some meals as well so that was just like expensive for them as well but we even had my mom bought us out back one night and when I did the online order it came out to over a hundred dollars so and but we're used to that because that's just how it is when you've got a large family and I thank God for his blessings because without him we would not be able to do it and I thank God that you know that we are able to to do it but I don't think it's wise for us to continue to spend like this in times where I could have pulled out meals and froze them and I could have used that 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 $2,500 to take my kids on a long vacation recovering from this chaos in this world <laughs> anyway or just know better yet taking them to Target or Walmart and just letting them go toy crazy anyway but or better yet saving the money and putting it in a savings so that's why I said you know what from here on out my goal is to stay on a budget to eat home more and to store up food that in hard times 
I can pull things out of the freezer and we're good to go. So yes, and I will keep coming with grocery hauls and cooking videos. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Any ideas, any suggestions on how to store food, how to save food, good, good things that um, will hold in the freezer. Um, that will be delicious, not nasty. My kids, one thing they do not like is frozen eggs. So I know I can't make those, but everything else I guess I could, could make. But that's it for our family of 10. And I will see you guys next video. Have a great week. Bye.